What does it feel like to be tangled up in knots? Do you know that your internal knots feel like a weight holding you down and are stopping you from moving forward? The solution is now. Welcome to Untangled and Free with Joan to get the tangled knots out of your life and fast forward to the freedom you deserve. The bottom line is this. We all have knots and tangles. The question is, what are they and why are they here? Knots in your finances, your relationships, your beliefs. Which one do you want to pick up today and untangle? During this hit show, Joan guides you on a pathway to experience the freedom to live an untangled life of peace, love, joy, abundance, and more. Maybe you don't even know where to start. Let's start together now on Untangled and Free with Joan. I got to tell you, everybody, I love it. I love, 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 love it when something comes together. And here's what I want to say. I don't want to take up a lot of time. I want to introduce you to an amazing woman. And Joan is who I'm talking about. This is Untangled and Free with Joan. And what you should know about Joan, Joan Gilbert, is she is many things. You're going to hear about them. This is a brand hot off the press, new concept, new idea. But when you hear this on tangled what it says you know what that feels like have you ever had that knot in your stomach but here's what i want you to know beyond this show you got to get to know this amazing holistic well-being guide life coach she has a practice that includes many 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 approaches and things including reiki and psyche and the list goes on but you know as a teacher and somebody that has been out in the world, a mom, she understands all of the various aspects of what keeps us tangled up. See, this is what she does. Today on a show, this is the, this is the first of many. What you're <laughs> going to hear about from Joan is, uh, is that how you might be feeling today? And what can we do? Joan, really great to kick it off. Thank you, Dr. Pat. What a beautiful introduction. I'm so excited to be here with you and the audience and be here today. Yeah. Look, let's start out. I don't have to ask this question, but I'm going to ask it. Have okay. you all, anybody out there, I should ask Colton. I wonder if he felt like this before he started to produce the show today. <laughs> have you ever wondered how being up and tangled up in knots really feels. I had a moment like that this morning. It's so funny. And I want to, I just want to go from here on what you talked about. Have you ever wondered how it affects every aspect in your life? There are obstacles. You're going to talk to this. But I'll tell you what I ran into this morning. Tangled up in knots affects your self esteem mm -hmm. and you start to second guess yourself. Because mm -hmm. you're tapping into, as Susan Denae would say, somebody else is crazy. Mm -hmm. When you do that, their knots then becomes your knots. And now you have the world of knots. What do you think about that, Joan? <laughs> <laughs> I completely agree with that statement. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you talked about a little bit about um, obstacles, right? And knots being obstacles, you can call them roadblocks, you know, the question is, is, and the reason I'm here today and the show is called Untangled and Free is like you talked about, we all run into this. We all get tangled up in stuff. We get tangled up in re, um, all kinds of different things and we run into the obstacles. But what a lot of us don't do is we don't figure out, well, what do we do about it? Right. You just kind of just sit there and, you know, I have been tangled up in knots many times throughout my life, you know, they've caused me to halt careers and relationships, question my own self-worth. But what it also has helped me to do is figure out how to become untangled and the process of untangling. Mm -hmm. And what that allows is for me to step out and to grow to new areas and to move forward in life and find mm -hmm. peace, joy, and abundance. And, you know, to really be on the show with you guys here today. Yeah. You know, I, I wonder, let's talk about this for a minute, because, mm -hmm. you know, the idea, the idea of Untangled and Free came in a conversation in your idea. But let's talk about from your experience, what a great metaphor it is, because when you say the word knots, 
Mm -hmm. You say knots, right? How many different ways do you think about knots? What does that mean to you? And how did this idea come to you? Sure. You know, the idea of knots um, and being tangled and more like the, the, because if you think about it, being tangled is a state of being, but also being untangled is also a state of being. And so the best way for it to me to explain how this idea came to me and how to label it is to kind of share an experience that happened to me uh, to be able to be on the show with you guys here today, right? Mm -hmm. So um, so you and I have been talking, Dr. Pat, and coming up with this idea of being, you know, tangled up and mm -hmm. knots and becoming untangled. And I was trying to figure out how to get everything for my ideas for the show untangled out of my own head and onto paper. And so what I really wanted, how it kind of came to me is I want to give you an example of what it felt like to me. And I'm sure we can all relate to this is that I had cleared my schedule right? I was going to sit down and I was going to create the content for this show, the show we're having right here and right now. Mm -hmm. And I got my computer out. I had the time on cleared on my schedule. I had my found my favorite place and I was sitting there. I had even had my kitty on my lap, right? Just that peaceful. I created the exact environment mm -hmm. that to find peace and joy and to find my voice in the mm -hmm. show. But what happened in that moment, right? I sat there and that's not what I felt. I started feeling that angst in my stomach, like you talked about earlier today, right? That angst in my stomach. And I felt a headache coming on. I felt like almost like a brain freeze of my thoughts. I could not get the words to come out. And mm -hmm. so I'm sitting there and that felt sense in my body of being not calm and not peaceful. And what word came for me was tangled, mm -hmm. right? It felt like a tangled up knot inside. Mm -hmm. And what, what was I going to do about it? Right? How do you become untangled? I really wanted to find my voice. I really wanted to share this experience with the audience today because, you know, I think it's something like you talked about that we all struggle with, right? And that felt sense of you're trying your best to create an environment where you feel at peace and at ease and you just end up feeling all tangled up yeah. inside. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, you can't figure it out. You know, mm -hmm. so what I love about this metaphor and I love about what you just shared is, I mean, look, here's the deal, right? I love your metaphor of the necklace. Oh yeah. When you do the necklace, you don't know what the original knot is. Do you? No, mm -hmm. no. Right. Because you have your necklace and you know, it's knotted up and you want to untangle it. Now everybody goes about this in a different way. I use a little pin, right? Mm -hmm. But you start to weave through it and you're like, well, wait a minute. Oh, wait, that's not the original knot. And then you and then you're looking at like, oh my gosh, it's like so knotted up. Is that the way life works, Joan? It is. And you can kind of so think about this scenario, right? You're going to get ready and you go in your drawer and you go to pick out a necklace to wear. Right? It's your favorite necklace. It has this meaning, and you notice that it has all these knots and tangles in it. So in a sense, isn't that like life? You you notice that something's not doing right, not feeling right. You feel kind of tangled up. And so what are you going to do about it? Do you throw that necklace back in the drawer, in that dark drawer where it's unseen? You can't find its beauty. You can't wear it, right? Do you find the patience? Do you have the time to untangle it? And, you know, in the end too, like you were talking about, do you have the tools and that's kind of like life as well, right? You can, so think if you think of being up and tangled up and not just like that necklace, you know, that necklace is unworthy of being worn, right? It's it's all tangled up. It's heavy, right? right? I mean, and, Joan, Joan, right? Okay, so I'm giving you the perfect example. Oh, yeah. The per but 
wait a minute, let's talk about the reality. Oh my God, I go to get my necklace. Oh, I look in my drawer. It's tangled up. What do we do? We mm-hmm. take that thing and we put it back in the drawer right. as if it's going to get untangled by itself. Tell me about <laughs> that, Joan. <laughs> yeah, right. Because, but what, okay, so think about that. If you throw it back in the drawer, you can't wear it, right? You're, it's, it's unseen. And, and next time you go to get it, what's going to happen? It's still going to be tangled up. And so when you're, when you feel all, feel like that necklace all balled up and tangled up inside, it's preventing you from moving forward. Mm -hmm. So really the first in, in this whole process of becoming untangled, when you have this big tangled up knot is becoming Mm -hmm. aware that there's even something going on for you. So if you go back to the scenario I used when I was sitting on the couch and just sitting there and all of a sudden I had to notice that something was going on. I could have gone to the medicine cabinet to get an Advil or I could have said, oh, I'll do it later, right? I could totally, have, totally. I could, have, could have done something completely different, but instead I said, you know what? Nope, it's time. <laughs> I have the time and I have the patience to untangle myself right now. So I can talk to you guys today. You know, do I, I, and so then I started beginning the whole process that I um, use a lot with my clients as well. It is a powerful, powerful process. It's a powerful approach. And I got to tell you, it is so relevant to the time we live in. Mm -hmm. And I think that the idea came to you because you knew what we've been through. We have gone through three years of something that like, no, hadn't gone through this since, I don't know, like the Spanish flu or something. I don't even know. But here's the point. People are really in knots Mm -hmm. and they don't know it and Mm -hmm. they are not, they don't know how to talk about it. And it comes out, I'm telling you, it's coming out in anger. It's coming out in isolation. What are you finding now with this? Once you decide to get yourself untangled, right? Mm -hmm. Once you're like, I'm going to get myself untangled. Mm -hmm. It is a process because I don't know about you. You got, you got to have the patience of a saint to take that necklace on. And please don't think you're doing that five minutes before you're walking out of the door, right? <laughs> no, exactly. Exactly. And for me in the scenario that I was talking about, it was fear, right? I mean, the last few years, I mean, talk about, talk about a topic that's relevant to everybody is that fear, right? Mm-hmm. That we all have. So yeah, I completely understand in, in, um, can comprehend where you're coming from. And so, yeah. So what the first step is, what we, we talked about is becoming aware, like in, and also to, um, as a holistic guide, guide is finding that awareness in where it's coming up for you too. So it's physically coming up for you, right? That fear yeah. for me, it was that fear, that anxiousness, right? The sweaty palms, that, Ugh, right so that just that feeling and so and, and just noticing and becoming aware of that it's there yeah right? so go ahead I love this because I, look it happens let's just get real for this a minute yeah and then I want you to take this on mm-hmm. all of a sudden we're sitting and we get a text message from one of our clients or a boss or a husband or a wife I don't care who it is mm-hmm. but you get that text message and first mm-hmm. of all it's like super cryptic yes it's like Mom wants to meet with us. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Go with that, Joan. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So <laughs> how do you untangle from that? Right? Well, there. <laughs> That's a definitely a big knot, but you, okay. So the, the first step is like, you're aware like that, that, that for lack of a better word, triggered something in you or made you feel uncomfortable. Right. So what are you going to do about it? Like, what is it holding you back from doing, right? Are you going to answer that text? <laughs> or are you afraid to answer that test, text? Like, what what is it holding you back from doing? And so that's where the, the, the process comes into play. Because, you know, you're aware that there's this something that, that you feel tangled up. But, and then... Also, you, it's, it's important to ask yourself, but what is it, but why do I care? 
<laughs> why do I want to pick up that necklace? Because, you know, a lot of times that if you feel like if you pick up a knotted necklace, think of how heavy that feels too, right? And so it's holding you back. I mean, that knot is holding you back. Yeah. And so in life, just like you were talking about, you get that text. What is it holding you back from? Or is it is it fear? Are you fearful of what's going to happen next? So in, but what would you rather experience? Do you want to just sit in that fear? Do you want to just sit there or do you want to untangle it? Yeah. I mean, I, where I am now is I can tell you, and we don't have time today, but on the next show, we'll make sure we allocate enough time to really get into it. Because I want to just tell everybody that's listening to this, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whether And, and I refer to text because this is the world we're living in now, okay? Um, you know, it's either a text or your caller ID says mom's calling. Okay, one of those things. Or it could be your boss. It could be anybody. But let me ask you this question. You have an approach you work with with people. I want to take a minute. How do they find out how to work with you if they want to be untangled and free? Let's give out your website and how to contact you, Joan. Sure, absolutely. My website is mindfulnesswithjoan.com. Um, so yes, you can go directly to my website. There's a uh, page link on there. If you want to schedule a 15 minute consult with me directly, we can just chat, make sure we're a good fit. Um, and then what we do is, again, I'm a guide, right? I'm there to support you and kind of help you walk this journey of becoming untangled and free. And so we can get to know each other, talk with that, and then we, we do a lot of talking, but the other thing that I do with my clients is help them develop that self-awareness of what's going on. What are their knots? What are their tangles? And then from there, start asking them, well, what would you rather experience? What is it holding you back? Why does it feel so heavy to you? Are you, what do you want to do about it? And then the other part that is that I um, focus on with my clients is tools. Yeah. Like you talked about when you're doing a necklace, like for me, my tools are going to be completely different yeah. your, than, than your tools are, Dr. Pat. Yeah. Yeah. But we all have an underpinning and I want to get to it because this is what you help people with. It is, let's just say it, fear of failure, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, in some strange way, whether it's the mom, the boss, the kid, the, the, the repair person, it doesn't matter. There's a there's a little bit of something that hits you right in the gut. That's mm -hmm. what we're talking about. And mm -hmm. then the question is what we want to go to now. Do you actually want to do something? What would it be like to be untangled and free? Because this is the next step. A lot of times we don't think there's anything we can do about it. How mm -hmm. often do we put that necklace back in the drawer and say, you know what? I'd have thrown that thing out, except it's solid gold. And I know the price of gold today, right? <laughs> right. But coming from my perspective, I don't want you to do that. That's I want right. you to wear that necklace. I want you to, that beauty, that you're, that beauty of that necklace. I want you to feel the, the pride when you put that untangled necklace on and you step out of that fear. I mean, yeah. look at me. I'm here with you guys here today. Not something, I mean, I had on my plate or ever thought I would come be. on, come on. <laughs> I didn't either. 20 years ago, I didn't either. But look at us now. You're bringing into the world a very powerful way for people to be untangled and free. I don't know you all out there, if you're listening to this, I just want to tell you that little thing you got going on in your gut, that's a knot. Mm -hmm. Do you want that or do you want to get rid of it? This is what we're talking about today because you had an idea for a show. You never thought you'd be doing a show. Well, you and I have been working together with the team and look at you now, Joan. I know. And so that's, I want, and that's what I want for everybody. I want everybody to, to realize that, you know, we all have knots and tangles, right? Um, but I also want everybody to know you can pick up that necklace. You can untangle it link by link. Another important part I want to make sure I bring up today too is, and I hope you guys can say this to yourself, it's not, you're not broken. You're just a little tangled up inside and you can untangle that, right? You're not broken. 
I want you to see that beauty inside of you. I want you to find your voice and find peace, love, joy, abundance. Because another thing, when you think about a knot that's all tangled up, what happens if you pull it tighter and kind of force it? Doesn't it get worse? What, what, what would you do if you surrendered and said, okay, my knot's there. I know it's there. Okay, let's let's surrender to the, that feeling of being knotted and work through ways and find tools to help you okay. untangle it. Well, let me answer your question. When you pull it harder, it <laughs> breaks, Joan. Ooh, it yeah. will break. Now, we've either done it because we think pulling it harder will fix it, or we've done it because we're frustrated. We're now really creating more knots energetically and pulling it is an act of, <laughs> it's the last stand. Um, and this is really today what we're talking about, right? We're mm -hmm. talking about being able to not just understand this, but to understand there's something people can do with it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, look, this is something you do. You untangle yourself. You work with your clients. You do it all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, how do belief changes mm -hmm. get us stuck in, in oh, things yes. like this? Absolutely. Beliefs. I mean, think about just what I talked about, about that necklace being un feeling unworthy of being worn. How many of us <sighs> have that belief that we're not worthy yeah. or we're not capable yeah. or we don't have, we're not, don't have the magnificent, we're not a magnificent storyteller. That was a big, that was a big one for me. So there's a lot of things that these beliefs that that are in your subconscious mind that I help my clients change and yeah. help them move that roadblock aside and said, Nope, I'm going forward. And I'm going to find that love and peace, prosperity, abundance, joy, right? Cause why not? Isn't well, that what we all want? It is what we all want, but let's talk about it too. Because here's the thing that hits us. It hits our self-confidence and self-esteem. And we're going to just, we're going to go, uh, we're going to keep going here after uh, 1130 for a little more. We got a little bit more to say to everybody. But, you know, I was listening to an interview of one of my favorite actors, uh, Scarlett Johansson. And, you know, love her as an actor. I probably have a favorite pick movie that most people don't. But I want to talk about her role for Black Widow in the Marvel Universe. And she was not the first pick, mm. right? And I've often wondered, because I, I heard her talk about it. I often wondered, how does one feel when you are not the first pick, when you're a second choice, for whatever reason, you're a second choice. And the reason I bring this up, because this is a different layer of being tangled. It's that thing where you look at the outside world and you let them determine your own self-worth. Oh, absolutely. It's also too, if you can think about it, it's kind of like putting a mask on, right? Like what, what does the out, outside world see versus what's going on inside of you? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And so let's talk about this uh, from your perspective. When you see this in your clients, right? And people, Let's just talk about the people that you, you work with or organizations you work with. I mean, as a teacher, you see it. What are some of the symptoms? Tell us about what you see that shows up for people, How, what they do, like, what do they do? Right. If they, if they feel like they're not worthy, like they were, they were chosen second or right. So yeah, some of the tools and some of the process that we go through is becoming aware. And again, like we talked about it's okay. Surrender to that. It's, it's okay. Feelings are not right or wrong. They're there. The emotions are there. So be a surrender to them, sit with them. Okay. And so a lot of tools I use, I use a lot of, for me personally, journaling works a lot to get to know and get to know that knot, get to know that tangle through yeah. journaling. Uh, there's all talking to different people and also changing the environment. So um, Dr. Wayne Dyer has a book out there, 10 Secrets to Success and in, in Inner Peace. And you can't solve, and one of the quotes that he has is you can't solve a problem from the same mind that created yeah. it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you're changing that environment. And that's yeah. what I do with my clients as I try to change that environment of what's going in, like, what right. are you putting in versus, you know, and you're taking the bad, get the bad stuff out. We don't need that negative inner self-talk, right? Those mm-hmm. negative beliefs, get rid of the bad stuff. Yeah, put some good stuff in, change that environment so that you can see that what you talked about, it's not about you. Exactly. I mean, I'm sorry, it's not about it's it's their it's your perception of what they're perceiving of you. It's that's right. You're you're so much more than that. Oh my god, I just went through that this morning. Look, we're gonna take a short break, but we're gonna come back and finish this up. Uh it's what we like to call the show after. (laughs) <laughs> and it's going to be live for all of you. Um, again, give out your website. Colton will take us to break and we'll be right back, everybody. What's your website, Joan? Sure. It's mindfulnesswithjoan.com. And I just want to say to everybody, what do you think about this before we go to break? Mm-hmm. Everybody, think about this. How are you feeling if I said to you, you are offered the role across from Leonardo DiCaprio and Titanic and you turned it down. Let's take a short break, everybody. I got a knot from thinking about that. I'm not even the actor. Stay tuned, everybody. When we come back, we'll talk about knots of regret. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Pat, and I get to hang out and do this great show with my friend and colleague, Joan Gilbert. Uh, Here, look, Untangled and Free with Joan, getting the tangle knots out of your life. That's what this is about. You're going to get much more about this. Today's episode is free, is is from, uh, it's from Tangle to Untangle. It's a pathway to freedom. And we're going to really jump in now because there is a process. There's a way that Joan does work with people. And it is a process. It's a step-by-step process. And whether you're thinking about the necklace in your drawer or, you know, the knots in your hair or your dog's <laughs> hair, I mean, we could go do a whole show on dog mats and dogs that's a process yeah, there you go. <laughs> but joan i wanted to spend a little bit more time um and just walk people through this process because it doesn't matter what the knot is does it it doesn't it doesn't and so you know at the root of it all is um and i, I know i talked about this before it because it, it's such an important part is just becoming aware of that you have a knot and a tangle you have something going on for yourself. That is like the first, because we can go through life. That's the first step. Like we can go through life and just say, "Eh, no, not going to deal with that. Right. And so just to have that awareness is a lot of what I work with my clients on is developing tools to create self-awareness and to, so that they can take that time to pause. And like, like I did on the couch, Right. When I was talking about earlier that you're, you're sitting there and you know, something doesn't feel right, Right, but you don't, but you know that, and it's feeling it in the other thing that I am a huge proponent on is where does it show up in your body too? And because we, you know, that whole mind body, there's that connection there. And so our bodies are a great tool to help us realize what's going on. That might not be something that we were aware of. And it's kind of, it gives us these signals. So that embody feeling that I feel tangled. That's, that's the first step. Yeah. 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 And it's and a big I, one. It's a big one, right? It's an admission without shame. Ooh, that's a very excellent point because again, to think about the not, what happens if, what, what would, what do you, what feeling do you get with the word shame? Doesn't it feel like you're pulling it apart, you're going to break it. Right. But if that awareness and surrendering to it and just saying, it's okay, it's okay. It's who I am. It's, it's fine to be afraid to come on (laughs) a radio show that I've never done before. Right. (laughs) There's, you know, it's okay to feel afraid sometimes. And, and that, that, that's the first step. So the, the other part, the next, the next um, step in the process is well, what, what's going on for me, right? But also, this is really important. What's it holding me back from experiencing? Because that's the, 
Why do I want to pick up the necklace? Why do I not want to throw it back? Because you want something more. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You want to feel something that you're not feeling currently. You want to feel differently. And that's why you pick up that necklace. And that's yeah. why you don't throw it back in the drawer. Yeah. I mean, you think we think about these things and, you know, I'm really struck by a couple of different aspects of it as you go through it. And that is, you have to be in the present moment to really, to mm -hmm. really look Joan Wright. Let's talk about that because the reference I made to Hollywood and those Hollywood roles, I mean, clearly these actors get asked this all the time. I mean, one of the most famous interviews is with Russell Crowe for turning down the Lord of the Rings role that Viggo Mortensen got. And he always gets asked about it because they do the math, they calculate the money, right? Mm -hmm. And every interview, and then Russell Crow cusses at him in the interview. But of every interview, they want to bring something up, but do you ever regret that? Which means they're not focusing on who he is today and what he's doing. But usually people like that have learned how to deal with decisions, things they've done or not done, and know how to be in the moment. Isn't that the crux or, or one of the key issues for us to get untangled? Oh, absolutely. That awareness that we talked about is kind yeah. of that, that thing. And so if you're not in the moment and you're just kind of on the hamster wheel of life and you're not taking the time to take that pause and mm -hmm. reflect back on what's going on, what you're feeling and being there right there in the moment and noticing what's going on, like what's going on in your head? Like what, what, what am I feeling? Right. And, yeah. Yeah. I mean, when we say the word tangled up or tangled up in knots, it brings a feeling. I don't know if you're listening to this and you're mm -hmm. thinking, maybe you're listening and you're saying, oh, no, I no." But if I just say the phrase tangled up in knots, mm -hmm. that it, will bring a reaction or a trigger. Mm -hmm. It brings a feeling. And we talked about several of them so far. Mm -hmm. Fear. Mm -hmm. uh, I brought up regret. But mm -hmm. there are many other emotions on the scale we just don't know which one is showing up yes and so the one way again so what you by being in the present moment and getting in touch with what's going on inside in your thoughts your beliefs your emotions what's going on so you can use different tools to do that as well and so the tools that I tend to use personally like I said I referenced a journal right where you're kind of so I'm not sure if Russell Crowe could get out his journal at that time, <laughs> but hopefully um, being in, being at some point, taking that time during mm -hmm. the day at some point to just noticing what's going on for yourself, whether it's in the morning, whether it's at night, is it, um, I tend to use also a lot of different cards and um, different like card decks with my clients as well, uh, the, the, what's coming up for them that day. Because I don't know about you, if you tap in that intuition and that that higher self in, it, it gives you some really good answers. Yeah. yeah, it does. And you know, look, here's what we're talking about. I mean, almost every person that I can think of, including myself, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to use a word uh, because this is the way it feels, has been rejected from something. Ugh. My journey has to do with trying out, with applying to schools. I have 35 rejections. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I still don't understand quite the last acceptance one, except the universe did. But people, Steve Jobs, I mean, come on. They may get tangled for a hot second. Mm -hmm. But we learn, don't we, from the process of getting untangled. And if we learn from it once, we learn again and we learn again, don't we? We, you do, because again, it goes back to the tools helping you change that environment that you have, that the environment of your, your stop putting the bad things in, putting the right good things in, um, going within, asking yourself, that, that whole pattern of untangling that process, it starts becoming a natural innate thing that you do when situations come up like that. Like, you know, you start asking yourself, what do you need to hear? What do you need to know? What do I need to accept right now? Mm -hmm. You know, those kind of things. And, you know, for me, I have this 
whole big toolbox that I've developed over the years, uh, my doing those own untangling process with myself. And so that's what I do with my clients. I share my toolbox. I share the tools that have worked for me. I share tools that have worked for other clients so that no matter what emotion, thought, feeling, belief comes up that you feel tangled up, you can tap into your intuition. You can change subconscious beliefs. You can, you know, I've even gone out and found TED Talks, right, that um, help put the good stuff in for me that is another tool to help you know, if I'm feeling self-doubt or anything. And then, you know, picking different, the card decks, there's all kinds of things that you can do to kind of help develop your own process of entangling. Now, granted, you know, every situation is different and every yeah. knot can be different, Yeah, but you know, it, we all have them. We all get them. And, and we're all, and yeah. that's what I love about working with clients and different people is like, everybody's yeah. different. And I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can't go buy an untangled kit from the shelf of the store because the untangle for me is going to be different from you. Oh, absolutely. I had a client once who we had talked about doing a writing in your journal, right? Because again, I said, I'm a big journal writer and she, um, she couldn't do it. And, you know, come to find out the reason why she couldn't do it is yeah. because her parents had um, read her journal when she was little and used it against her. And so I'm like, well, then don't use a journal. <laughs> like, yeah, that's there's right. many other things we can do. So those are the kind of things that yeah. I love to work with my clients. I think it's it's interesting. And, you know, for her, it was a revelation like, oh, no wonder I hate to journal. But yeah. that's what the untangling process it does. It brings up stuff that you might not be aware of. It helps you find different tools. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, the surrendering to those knots, you know, understanding that we all have them and mm -hmm. there's no shame in that and that you can untangle yourself. I want you to like wear that necklace. I want you to just find that peace and love and joy and abundance yeah. and dissolve those knots, those roadblocks. I want you to move forward, find your own pathway to freedom, right? The freedom to live. Yeah. Joan, thank you for today. Um, I want to thank Colton for his flexibility here and uh, and all of you out there. Uh, more to come. We have more topics yeah. coming about Untangled and Free. Joan, again, please tell people the best way to find you. And also, I'd love to know your personal message, what you'd like to leave us with today. Sure, sure. Absolutely. So again, my website is mindfulnesswithjoan.com. Um, there's also uh, on my website, you can also just reach out uh, via a form and co contact me that way as well. And yes, I'd love to help you, all of you guys, anybody who has those knots and tangles, I'd love to help you find the tools to untangle that, to untangle them. Um, so yeah, really what I want to leave you with is, you know, we all have knots and tangles. I've said this all over and over again, and I want you to what I want for you is to increase your awareness about what you they are, what are your knots and tangle, tangles are, and what they're holding you back from living your best life. I want you to go into that jewelry box and I want you to pick up that necklace because each show, we're going to link by link, we're going to untangle that necklace. And I want you to surrender I want you to move those roadblocks aside because in the end, I want you to find that life filled of love and peace, prosperity, abundance, you know, because if I can do it, yep, <laughs> you can do it. And, you know, really the best way, the best question I want to leave you with is like, what would you, ra what would I rather experience? Just start st asking yourself that. Do yeah. I not want to sit with that knot? but what would I rather experience? And then call me. <laughs> thank you, Joan. Thank you so much. I want to thank all of you for tuning us in and turning us on much more to come on Untangle and Free. And by the way, lots of topics, lots of things we're going to talk about, but also most importantly, lots of solutions. Thank you, Joan. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Colton. Thank you for a great show. And thanks to all of you for being the best audience on the planet. We'll see <laughs> Absolutely. you next time. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. It was an honor to be here. We look forward to seeing you again soon.
Thanks for watching Untangled and Free with Joan on TransformationTalkRadio.com. As Joan guides you on a pathway to experience the freedom to live an untangled life of peace, love, joy, abundance, and more. Discover how your internal knots weigh you down and stop you from moving forward. Get ready to untangle your limiting beliefs. Discover your best self and achieve the freedom you deserve. For more info, be sure to visit MindfulnessWithJoan.com and schedule a session to get untangled today.